Whenever you're working inside of Salesforce and you're viewing an individual record, you may see a note somewhere about potential duplicates for that record. And here in this instance, I previously, before I started recording, cloned this particular lead to make a second one with the exact same information. So it's definitely a duplicate. And you can clone records by selecting clone from the action list here. And I'm in the lead object right now. And so you can view the potential duplicate here and compare and contrast between the two. And sometimes there will be some variance here because typically you don't clone lead records, you'll be entering in information or maybe this person would enter in their own information on a web to lead form a couple of times and may enter things a little bit differently. And so now you can merge actually up to three records into one. And so let me go ahead and select the records that I want to compare to one another and then click next. And here's where you decide which values are going to carry over into this merged lead record in making one of these going from two records back down to one. And so sometimes you will have fields that are empty, other areas it's populated. And so the best of both worlds is to be able to pick from both and determine what the accurate information is. And so I do have a SIC code for this particular record, and then I've got a record type on this particular record. So once you selected the winners and losers as far as the column for each of the data points here, and you can show all fields by clicking here as well, by the way. And once you've made all your determinations as far as what data you want in the merged record, then you click Next and then confirm the merge. Once this is done, it can't be undone, basically. So we merge and then we're back down to one lead record and no potential duplicates. And there are underlying duplicate rules that you can set up and configure. And out of the box, Salesforce has standard duplicate rules for several different standard objects, such as leads, accounts, and contacts. But you can create and customize your own matching rules as well and duplicate rules so that you can have this be fine-tuned to warn the user for things that are similar in nature, or you can make it looser to where it's more rare that duplicates are flagged. And as well, another thing you can do is when you go to enter in a new record, you can configure Salesforce as well to alert the user that it looks like you're trying to introduce a record that already exists. And this is the behavior of how this is set is to warn upon creation. And this is creating a new record here with a record type of installation, by the way. And it's saying that this record looks like an existing record. And you can view the duplicate here, and it will show you the existing record. And the intention here is to alert the user that we already have this lead in the system, so don't enter a new one. And you can also configure this so that if an alert is fired, you could block them from entering a new lead record, or you could allow it. You can also report on these and I've just created another duplicate here. So, And then bearing in mind, I'll go ahead and clone a third, is that you can merge up to three records into one. So I'm going to ignore the warning, save a third, and so now I've got three records that are the same. So it's finding two potential duplicates to this one. I can view the duplicates here, select all of them to select which values to carry over from which. And so I want to keep that SIC code from that one lead record and let me just use the other as the master and then I'll click next and then merge and so now I've merged from three down to one. So that is the merging of duplicates in Salesforce. If you found this tutorial helpful please do like and subscribe. Leave a comment down below for what you'd like to learn next in Salesforce. I just might make it my next video and until then I'll see you in the cloud.